We just witnessed the biggest robbery in college football history. You are telling me a Alabama team that barely beat Arkansas by three, an Alabama team that barely beat Texas M by six, an Alabama team that literally one week ago needed a Hail Mary fourth and goal 35 yards to go on the last play of the game to beat a terrible Auburn team just made it in over an undefeated Florida State. You have to make a choice. It was either you have Alabama, who have one loss, and they just lost in the conference championship game. You got to move them to number four, or you got to bring Texas down. Oh, people trying to call me. I know everybody want to talk about this. Tech, oh, mess me up. Then you got a Texas team. Texas team, they beat Alabama. You can make the you can make the argument they go to number four because they beat Alabama. Unfortunately, I'm saying you probably got to have Alabama over them because they just beat the number one team. It's all about money. Literally all about money. You you bring one of them in there. You don't bring both of them in there. Texas got that big oil money. Alabama, that's what I said for the longest. The same rules that apply to Jim Harbaugh, that apply to Michigan, do not apply to Nick Saban. Nick Saban don't pose to be in there this year. And he still found a way to squeeze his ass up in there. I feel bad for those Florida State kids because you just had an undefeated season and your reasoning of saying why they didn't make it because they don't have a starting quarterback. What a backup quarterback just won their conference championship game yesterday. And Ohio State won a championship. Was it with R.J. Barrett or one of those backup quarterbacks that they just, they won a, their last championship with? Wasn't a starter. You got to put them in there. Like literally, what was the point of them playing yesterday? Robbery.